Welcome to Unlevel TV with the brand new Sonos Sub here in the background. As you can see here, we are outdoors and we will not only unbox it now, but bring it inside where you can already hear to play 3 by Sonos playing music. And it's quite a heavy system, 35 pounds, so we'll um, have to take the camera in one hand and this little fella in the other one. But first let's see what's inside this box. This is the glossy version, the matte version isn't out yet. And on the back you can actually see that it's of course um, able to connect to the Play 3, the Play 5 and you need the Connect Amp to use more than one Sonos device in your Wi-Fi network. So that will um, set you back another 100 to 200 bucks depending on where you will buy it. It tells you again here, watch out when you take it out. It's 35 pounds, 16 kilograms, so quite heavy. We have first a quick start guide here inside the box and maybe you can see it even though the weather is really uh, nice that it's really easy to set up. Just plug it in, um, uh, hit the connect button, select it, uh, select a, a new device from your Sonos um, device like an iPad or iPhone or any other, other Android device for um, connecting and then you're all set up. It's quite easy, we already did all that. And on the back it tells you again, watch out when you take it out, but you can actually use it even lying on the ground. So that's quite nice and we will show you how good the sound is in just about one or two minutes. Then we have a product information guide in different languages with telephone number and FCC information, for example. Then of course the power cable, which is, well, long enough, it's about a 1 meter 50 or like 5 foot. Then we have a few rubber, and eh, they're not rubber feet, they're just feet. So if you use it lying on the ground like that, you can protect the surface, which is of course in this version glossy, as I said, and that's quite nice by Sonos. And then we have the device itself, which is really quite heavy, but there's nothing else inside the box. So let's take a look at how this little bad boy looks like. It will not come in white, but as I said, in a matte version, and there we are. It's really beautiful, really a handful actually. And on the other side we have that connect button that we were talking about right here, which we will press in a few seconds. And on the bottom you can actually see um, you can connect the power and the network cable right here. The network cable is not inside the box, but um, usually you will use this, I guess, anyways with um, your standard Wi-Fi at home. And so let's take the power cable and the camera inside where the music is already playing as you can maybe hear it when I'm not talking. So we have a Play 5 here on the ground so you can see the size comparison. Then we have a Play 3 here in the corner in black and another Play 3 in white in the other corner. That's probably the perfect setup for the living room. Let's plug this bad boy in, like this, flip it to the bottom, plug in your power cable quite easily, there we go. It's not that easy but you only do it once and you have to of course hold it on the other side. It has to go all the way back, in, uh, all the way inside and then it starts blinking looking for the Wi-Fi. Since we already set it up once, I will turn up the volume on my iPad. So you can hear right away when the subwoofer kicks in. So this is the sound without the subwoofer right now. Until it connects, you can see actually here the size difference between the Play 5 and the Sonos sub is quite big. So it's about double the size. Subwoofer is not set up yet, it takes about one or two minutes and then I will demonstrate it with a paper to you that it's really quite nice because even if you put it on a table for example, you won't hear the difference. Now you hear the difference between a sub and not sub. If you put it on a table, it will not resonance anywhere, just this way and that way and not even that far. That was the maximum volume and now I'm just going to show you with this little paper that it's really only moving inside between the two membranes right here as you can see, maybe. 
show it from the side and you can see it more and actually even this way you can see it's moving a little bit but as soon as I go a little bit further away it stops moving and shaking so um, you can clearly hear the, the subwoofer but you cannot feel it so it's quite nice because that way you can really put it on the ground lying down or on your table or anywhere you want so till next time peace and again this was Endeavor TV with the brand new Sonos sub Sonos Play 5 here on the ground and of course two Play 3's in the corner so next time please tune in again